Imagine a mother and child living miles apart. Yet, when one laughs, the other instinctively knows joy. And when one cries, the other feels the sorrow too. There lies a similar concept in quantum mechanics, which states a change in the state of one particle will instantaneously affect the state of the other, no matter the distance between them. This phenomenon is called quantum entanglement. This means that the universe could be structured more like a network, with every part connected to every other part. It suggests that the universe is a grand dance of particles, entangled across vast distances, moving in harmony to the rhythm of quantum mechanics. By the end of this video, we will understand the intricate and interconnected nature of our existence in a simulator called life, and how we can make the best out of this game. Simulator of life can be best explained with simulation theory. Simulation theory postulates that what we perceive as reality is, in fact, a complex simulation. In essence, physical reality is a projection of our consciousness. This projection is guided by both physical and non-physical components of our soul, with the non-physical part providing guidance and direction. Imagine you are a game player, and your physical body is your avatar. The avatar is a projection of you, the player, within the game's reality. Our consciousness works in a similar manner. We project ourselves into this physical reality, experiencing and interacting with it, much like a game player with their avatar. Simulation theory also proposes that everything is happening all at once. The concept of linear time is merely a construct of our physical perspective. Our actions cause ripples, impacting the entire cosmos in ways we can't even begin to comprehend. This ripple effect reinforces the interconnectedness of our existence. Furthermore, this theory explains the structure of existence as an ever-expanding creation. Each choice we make, each experience we have, contributes to the expansion of this creation, the unfolding of the grand cosmic dance. Interestingly, phenomena like the Mandela effect, where a person believes that their distorted memories are, in fact, accurate recollections, backs the concept of holographic projection of reality. So, in essence, we are both the projectors and the audience experiencing a reality of our own making. All frames of existence exist at once, but our vibrational state, our state of consciousness, determines which frames we illuminate, how we perceive and experience our reality. This perspective suggests we can shape our experiences through our perception and understanding. Even the most challenging situations are fundamentally neutral. It's our definitions that imbue them with stress or tranquility. Instead of viewing obstacles as hindrances, we can perceive them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Everyday evidence of living in a simulation is all around us. The number of petals on a flower, the spiral of seashells, the proportions of the human body. This theory is beyond our five senses and can only be felt in experiential reality between the gaps produced by the holographic projector. For instance, the pause between in-breath and out-breath or the gap between one thought to another. In meditation, we widen this gap to be in a state of thoughtlessness, hence bliss. There are 112 such ways to make this simulation part of your experiential reality. Leave a comment if you want to know more about the same. Quantum mechanics, with its peculiarities, can be viewed as a program at work, hinting that we might be living in a simulation. Metaphorically, we can summarize the entire concept with an ocean, Imagine a vast ocean, each wave, each ripple, each droplet of water forms part of this grand body. They are all unique, yet they share a common essence. This is akin to the spiritual concept of oneness. It's the understanding that we are all unique expressions of the same consciousness, interconnected in a web of unity that spans the cosmos. Quantum entanglement and oneness, though seemingly distinct, share a profound connection they both speak to a reality that is deeply interconnected, where individual parts are inseparable from the whole. They invite us to view the universe not as a collection of isolated objects, but as a tapestry of relationships, woven together by the threads of existence. While our ego makes us feel exclusive, taking us away from inclusiveness or oneness. Watch this video to know more about the ego and insecure Jopka, the dance of quantum entanglement, the simulation theory and the web of oneness have led us to an understanding that we are all connected in this cosmic play, bound by the threads of existence. 
but our journey is far from over. There are still many mysteries to uncover, many truths to understand. And you, dear viewer, are an integral part of this journey. Your curiosity, your thirst for knowledge, is what propels us forward. If you've enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Share your thoughts, your insights, your questions in the comments below. Let's continue exploring, questioning, and understanding the mysteries of the universe together. Remember, every ripple in the ocean of knowledge creates waves of understanding. Be that ripple. Watch this video to know how consciousness communicates through feelings to create a simulation.